how soon can you actually know if you're pregnant? Is it right after sex, the day your period is late, or the second you start feeling tired? Today, we're gonna cut through the noise and talk about the real timeline of conception, implantation, and those first hormones that show up on a pregnancy test. Hi friends, I'm Lavi Ray, doula and holistic health coach, and I help women and doulas understand the body in a way that feels clear, doable, and honestly, a little more fun than the internet makes it. In this video, I'll explain what ovulation really is, how fertilization and implantation work, and how soon you can detect if you're pregnant after intercourse. So grab a cup of tea, settle in, and let's break this down. So let's start at the beginning, ovulation. Ovulation is when one of your ovaries releases a mature egg. This usually happens about halfway through your cycle. So if your cycle is 28 days, ovulation is around the 14th day, but it can be earlier or later depending on your body. The egg itself only lives for about 12 to 14 hours once it's released. So that is literally one day. Sperm, on the other hand, can live in your reproductive tract for up to five days. That's why timing sex in the days leading up to ovulation matters, because sperm can actually be waiting when the egg arrives. How do you know if you're ovulating? Some women track their basal body temperature. It rises slightly after ovulation. Others track cervical mucus, which gets clear and stretchy like egg whites when you're almost fertile. You can also use ovulation predictor kits that test your urine for a surge in the LH hormone, which is what triggers ovulation. I worked with a mom who thought she was ovulating on day 14, but when we tracked her cycle more closely, we found she actually ovulated on day 18. Once she adjusted her timing, she conceived the very next month. Once the egg is released, it travels into the fallopian tube and fertilization happens when the sperm meets the tube in the egg, not in the uterus. The sperm is already present, so fertilization can happen within hours after ovulation. If no sperm arrives, the egg dissolves and the cycle continues. But here's the key, fertilization alone doesn't equal pregnancy. Pregnancy really starts with implantation. After fertilization, the tiny balls of cells, now called the blastocyte, travels down the uterus and attaches to the uterine lining. This happens six to 12 days after ovulation. And so your body can begin producing the HCG hormone. That's the hormone that the pregnancy tests detect to determine if you're pregnant or not. The egg triggers this hormones and at first the levels are very low, but then they begin to double every 48 to 72 hours early on in pregnancy. Now, most pregnancy tests cannot detect the hormones until the levels at around 20 to 25. That's why taking a test seven or eight days past ovulation often gives you a negative even if you're pregnant. The hormone just isn't high enough yet. So when can you actually test? Most women will get an accurate result around the time their period is due, about 14 days after ovulation. Blood tests at a doctor's office are more sensitive and they can detect pregnancy about seven to 10 days after ovulation, depending on how early implantation has happened. And I've seen women test too soon, get a negative, and then three days later, that positive line appears. It's not that the first test was wrong, it's just that it was too early. So honey, if you have been doing what you do, then you know the possibility is there. And sometimes there's just that two week wait that you have to work through before you can find out your results. So now let's talk symptoms. Some women swear they can feel pregnant right away, sore breasts, fatigue, mood swings, but those early feelings are usually due to progesterone, which rises after ovulation, whether you're pregnant or not. So while you might feel different, those symptoms aren't conclusive for pregnancy. The only way to know is through testing after implantation. For women going through IVF, the timeline looks a little bit different. For example, if you have a five-day embryo transfer, implantation can happen within just a day or two. 
That's why clinics schedule a blood test about nine to 12 days after transfer to confirm pregnancy. I supported one woman who tested early at home and saw a faint line. And then the next day her line looked lighter and she was devastated. But when she went for her blood test, her HCG was rising beautifully. Home tests can vary. Even how much water you drink can change the results but blood tests are always more reliable in those cases. Now we also need to talk about chemical pregnancies or early losses. This is when implantation happens, HCG rises high enough to trigger a positive pregnancy test, but the pregnancy doesn't continue. It's more common than most people realize and a lot of studies suggest that it happens in up to 25% of early pregnancies. This is often before a woman even knows that she's pregnant. But for those women who do catch it, it can definitely feel heartbreaking when you see the line and then a few days later, your period comes. I want to ensure you it doesn't mean that your body has failed. Most often it means the embryo wasn't developing normally and your body recognized it. I always remind moms, your body's job is to protect you and that's hard but it's also wisdom built into the process. So here's the bottom line. Fertilization happens right after ovulation, but you won't know. Implantation takes about six to 12 days. HCG starts only after implantation and blood tests can detect pregnancy about a week after ovulation. Urine tests are most reliable around 14 days after ovulation or the day your period is late. While the waiting is hard, Knowing the science helps you understand what's happening inside your body. Pregnancy is an instant, it's a series of steps, and each one takes time. Now, whether you're trying naturally, going through IVF, or just paying closer attention to your cycle, give yourself and your body patience. Now, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share it with someone who's waiting for their own two pink lines. And if you're a mom or you're on your journey to becoming one, I'd love for you to join my new community for moms and doulas. It's where you'll get real answers, real support, and a safe place to grow through pregnancy with confidence. The link to the waitlist is in the comments and I'll see you inside.